Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, I hope you stick around and subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for coming in today. Um, in today's video, I am going to be doing um, five things you forget to clean. Today's video is a collaboration with my friend uh, Sydney and her channel is just Sydney. And she is a twin mom of two boys who are two and she does videos about cleaning, motherhood, um, vlogs as well. If you guys would like to check her out, um, I'll put her link down below. But yeah, so we decided to do this uh, collaboration on cleaning and um, it's going to be five things we tend to forget to clean. And we're going to show you guys those five things. And hopefully you guys don't forget to clean these five things. But I'm pretty sure you guys skip around and miss some of these. But it's been taking uh, us so long to get this collaboration out. Because we've both been very busy um, with our lives. That we um, haven't been as active as we would have liked to on YouTube for the last past couple of weeks. Um, but hopefully we can get this other collaboration. Which is going to be a... Uh, it's gonna be featuring husbands cleaning so I think down below if you guys want to see that maybe um, we need some motivation so we can get that together and get it going it's just so hard to try to film um, with the kid and both of my husband and I either holding the camera or being behind the camera um, we haven't had a chance to do that but hopefully we can get that too so we can um, share that but I hope you guys enjoy this and Stick around, subscribe, like this video, and share it with anyone you like. Um, see you guys next time. Bye. So my number one pick was doorknobs. Um, how many times do we touch these doorknobs on a daily basis? And I use an all method, um, a method antibacterial all-purpose cleaner and sprayed on um, the doorknobs in my household. Um, I only show like three because the other ones were in my son's bedroom when he was taking a nap. Um, so just sprayed it some and then I clean. I use a method all-purpose antibacterial um, grapefruit cleanser wipes and I used to I use those wipes to um, wipe down the doorknobs. Two is toasters. Um, I find it that we always leave the toaster to the very end and sometimes for a long time we forget to clean it. I'm just dusting away the crumbs from the bottom of the toaster. Look at it. How dirty is that toaster? And it wouldn't come off. That's why I decided to use a toothbrush to try to um, brush it off because it would not come off. And I'm using a cleaning vinegar spray and I ended up spraying the toaster and i don't recommend to get your toaster wet it didn't harm my toaster but you just never know how what can happen um if you wet an appliance that is not supposed to be wet i just used it because i felt like it was very dirty and it did not want to come off so i decided to spray it to see if it would help um remove the stuff and it did help but it would it was still stuck to it like i did scrape it off with the toothbrush but then um i couldn't get it out so i had it accumulated at the very bottom so i had to end up rinsing it with a little bit of water but i just let water run through it without wetting it too much um, but like i said i don't recommend you to get it wet just in case that you might end up messing up the appliance and it might not even end up working but we actually didn't end up using the toaster for a whole week. So by that time, it was pretty dry and it still works. Did our bread and the bread did not smell or taste like vinegar. But don't do that at home because I honestly thought it wasn't going to work. <laughs> but it did work. Number three is the microwave. Um, the microwave can go like 
all these other items, uh, all these other appliances can go for a long time without getting cleaned, but it can easily get dirty within one use, especially if you don't use a cover, a lid on the thing that you're going to warm up. So my recommendation or my tip for cleaning the microwave, the easiest and the fastest way is to pull a bowl, to put a bowl with water and let it heat up for five minutes and that will create the water to get really hot and steamed and soften all the particles that are stuck to your microwave and then just use um either a napkin a dry napkin or a wipe to clean it to wipe it down i use also the antibacterial spray to spray it off to make sure that it would kill any bacteria and then just wipe it down with a napkin <music> is a kettle i just fill it up with water all the way to its limit and then add um, slices of lemon and lemon is known as an antibacterial um as having a antibacterial properties so i just let that um steam up all the way to to when the water starts to boil and then i pour it down the drain um and i even pour in the lemon um, wedges in there just so that it can also clean the drain so the kettle even though we just use it to boil water it can accumulate um, sediment from the water itself and I don't think you can really see um, the particles that it took off from the kettle and even though it's just being used for water um, but there's some particles in that bowl. And my number five pick is the drainer. Um, the drainer system, even though it has a, even though it will grind, the bottom part of this drain has a, that uh, grinder that it will grind any food that goes through it. Well, it tends to accumulate all that food and it will pass through. And even though it grinds it and it will push it down to its own trash, um it can create a buildup of bacteria of all the stuff that goes through there and it can create a smell putting the hot water with the lemon will help um try to soften all of those stuff all those particles off and you will sense a smell because it's getting cleaned out but then after you pour more hot water and all the baking soda powder it will it will go away comment below which one of these five you forgot to do or you don't do or you're gonna get to doing it and don't forget to check out just sydney so you can check out her five things that she forgets to clean and uh we'll see what we have in common or what we don't have in common or who knows maybe it's actually 10 things i forget to clean Whew. okay guys thank you guys for watching see you guys next time bye